All right. Well, I was thinking leading up to this week about um, what to say before Michael Card comes up. And I was getting really nervous here for a minute because I didn't see him in the room a minute ago. <laughs> and you'll understand why that made me nervous here. I, I had a flashback to a couple of years ago. And I remembered what not to do when introducing Michael Card. I don't know if, Mike, you remember this or not. It scarred me for life. Um, and if you were here, I was talking about um, 30 years ago when I was in college singing a Michael Card song for an audition and, and joking about not making the team. And while I'm doing that, he sneaks up to the piano and starts playing the song behind me <laughs> and says into the microphone, hey, would you like to hear him sing the song now? He even remembers what song it was. <laughs> and I completely blank and freeze on the lyrics, and it was in a key too high for me to sing anyway. And so, um, so Michael Card gave me one of my life's most embarrassing musical moments, and I'll always love him for that. But uh, all that just, you know, it just says to me that not only is, is he a man with an amazing intellect, an amazing musical and creative capacity, an amazing love for God and sharing truth with other people. He's got a really good sense of humor. So I don't know, maybe he'll do a little stand-up for us tonight, too, along with the music. But I know uh, I am very excited to, again, hear on the guitar, on the piano, and sing his songs for us, leading us in worship tonight. So uh, would you please welcome Michael Card. <laughs> You're just such a great target, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that, abuse is my love language. You gotta understand, if I don't tease you, I don't like you. It took my wife forever to learn that. <laughs> uh, let's see. To hear with my heart, to see with my soul, to be guided by a hand I cannot hold, to trust in a way that I cannot see, that's what faith must be. When the universe fell from his fingertips, he decided he wanted some fellowship, but the man and the woman would not submit. So he made a better way When the moment was right He sent his own son And he opened the way So that everyone Could have hope and believe That when time was done He'd be able to make us one Think if you know it To hear with my heart To see with my soul To be guided by a hand I cannot hold to trust in a way that I cannot see. That's what faith must be. Now I understand that there is a key. It's Jesus in me, a reality. That God is in Christ and that Christ's in me. That with faith I see what is unseen. Your turn. Ready? To hear with my heart, to see with my In a way that I cannot see That's what faith must be That's what faith must be Though the wind is raging all around and even though the waves may rise There's a place of stillness in the storm And you can find it if you will believe It's a soul anchor Hold on to your hope It is a soul anchor And hold on to your courage Certain 
are told by one who cannot lie and in this hope is our security it's a soul anchor hold on to your hope it is a soul anchor and hold on to your courage before we call he answers us with It's a soul anchor, hold on to your hope, it is a soul anchor, and hold on to your courage, before we call, he answers us, before we call, he answers us with hope. It seems I've imagined him all of my life as the wisest of all of mankind. But if God's holy wisdom is foolish to men, he must have seen out of his mind. For even his family said he was mad, and the priest said a demon's to blame. But God in the form of this angry young man could not have seemed perfectly sane. When we in our foolishness thought we were wise, he played the fool and he opened our eyes. When we in our weakness believed we were strong, he became helpless to show we were wrong. And so we follow God's own fool for only the foolish can tell believe the unbelievable and come be a fool as well so come lose your life for a carpenter's son for a madman who died for a dream then you'll have the faith his first followers had and you'll feel the weight of the beam. So surrender the hunger to say you must know. Have the courage to say I believe. For the power of paradox opens your eyes and blinds those who say they can see. When we in our foolishness thought we were wise, he played the fool and he opened our eyes. When we in our weakness believed we were strong, he became helpless to show we were wrong. So we follow God's own fool, for only the foolish can tell. Believe the unbelievable and come be a fool as well. Long ago, he blessed the earth, born older than the years. And in the stall, a cross he saw, through the first of many tears. A life of homeless wandering, cast out in sorrow's way. The shepherd seeking for the lost, his life the price he'd pay. Love crucified arose, the risen one in splendor, Jehovah's sole defender, as 
won the victory. Love crucified arose, and the grave became a place of hope. For the heart that sin and sorrow broke is beating once again. Throughout your life, you felt the weight of what you'd come to give, to drink for us that crimson cup so we might really live. At last the time to love and die, the dark appointed day, that one forsaken moment when your father turned his face away. Love crucified arose, the one who lived and died for me was Satan's nail-pierced casualty, and now he's breathing once again. Love crucified arose, and the grave became a place of hope, for the heart that sin and sorrow broke is beating once again. There's a way that a child can look at the world. They see through the eyes of the heart. They see meaning beyond the mystery and hear the silence of the stars. So close your eyes so you can see the way he meant this world to be and understand with a childlike heart the place we end is where we start of God's design so if you would be grown up and mature then let the light of your childhood shine and close your eyes so you can see what it must have been like to be a little girl or boy who knows and walks with Jesus as they grow. Okay, this is a song uh, from Peter's point of view. Sometimes I grow weary when the road's getting long. At each point of my weakness, you make me strong. And when doubt takes over, I remember it's true. I 
left everything to follow you to stay safe or to follow you asked me to choose but how could I fail when I've got nothing left to lose without your call I couldn't make it it'd be impossible to do to leave everything and follow you everything to follow everything to follow everything to follow you To your sacrifice, I gave up my home, but you left paradise. And what you call me to offer has really set me free, because you left everything to be with me. So with joy I embrace a faith that calls me from home. And I will cling to your promise that I am never alone. And with each passing moment, I'll keep hoping it's true. I left everything to follow.
just could not understand that your most awesome work was done through the frailty of your son. Ready? Well, it's nice to be back here. Everybody okay? Okay. All right. It's been crazy, hasn't it? I mean, crazy. And in the midst of all that turmoil and confusion, Jesus is still there for us. Right? Making the world make sense. You know? He got the whole world in his hands. You do know that. He got the whole world in his hands. This COVID thing, he's got, he's got it. He's got it. Um... Yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, I'm sorry I had to cancel a concert several months ago at the last minute. I apologize for that. But I had to, I had to be home just for one of my kids. I had to be home. So if you came all this way and then I wasn't there, so I'm sorry. It's my fault. But, um, let me play for you a song that's my favorite song of all the ones I've written. I've written about 450 songs in almost 40 years. I think that's enough. Don't you? <laughs> I'm kind of done with writing. I'll keep singing them, and if the Lord gives one, I'll, I'll write it down, you know, but I think I'm sort of done <laughs> writing songs. Um, but of all the ones I've done, this is my favorite. Um, it's, it's my favorite for a number of reasons. I wrote it with a person who I just have this deep awe of for. His name is Vance Taylor. Vance was a keyboard player for Earth, Wind, and Fire. And he is the greatest musician I know. Any song, any key, any style, without thinking. I've never seen anything like it. And he is, at the same time, the most sweet, humble guy. If I was as good as him, I would be so stuck up. I mean, you could not talk to me. But he's so, you give him a compliment, it's like he's never been complimented in his life. He's that sort of person. Just the sweetest man. And... Uh, and we wrote this together. So I, I always imagine him sitting here with me on the bench when I play it. He's just a special brother. Uh, the other thing that uh, makes this my favorite song is it, it's trying to do what, what I try to do in songs. And that is take some biblical truth and make it sort of available. Wash your feet with it. And the biblical truth is this. Um, suffering and sorrow and confusion are all things that God uses if we will just offer them up to him as an act of worship. I mean, what is Jesus doing at the moment when he's most being used by God? He's lamenting, and this song is a lament. So if you're confused or even angry with God, you mean, read the Psalms. David is taking, and Asaph and the others that wrote the Psalms, they're taking these laments, these struggles that they're having, and they're giving them to God. They're offering their anger to God, to God, <laughs> anger with God, to God. Uh, when I need you to the most, that's when you were the farthest from helping me, David says. And yet he puts that in a worship song and offers it up to God. And uh, not once in all of the, the Hebrew Bible does God ever say, how dare you speak to me that way? Because that's not a father, that's not our father. So. Anyway, this song is, uh, is uh, called Come Lift Up Your Sorrows, and that's the point of the song. And, you know, you know here's, here my music is, you know, if there's a hole, you put a note there, right? Um, Vance's music has a little more space. I mean, that's how he plays it with all that space. It drives me crazy. <laughs> if 
sacrifice and come make a sacrifice of all your shame of all your shame there in your wilderness he's waiting for you he's waiting for you to worship him with your wounds to worship him
It was going so well. <laughs> you know what I thought? I thought, here's the part you always mess up on. And it happens. So. Well, you want perfection, listen to records. Yeah. I need, I need lessons from some, somebody who's old here to teach me how to be old. I'm 64 and I really need help because all, all my mentors have all passed away. That's what happens, you know, you if, live in this ever narrowing circle of friends, right? The older you get. And I don't have, there's no old person in my life to teach me how to be an old man. So somebody here needs to step up to the plate and help me out because uh, I'm not handling it very well. <laughs> This song is from Leviticus. Just thought I'd warn you. <laughs> Turn that down. It's really, it's really loud. If you, yeah. The Lord provided for a time for the slaves to be set free. For the debts to all be canceled So his chosen ones could see His deep desire was for forgiveness He longed to see their liberty And his yearning was embodied In the year of Jubilee This is your part Jubilee Jubilee Jesus is the Jubilee That's forgiven Slave set free, Jesus is our Juba. At the Lord's appointed time, his deep desire became a man, the heart of all true jubilation, and with joy we understand. In his voice we hear a trumpet sound that tells us we are free. He is the incarnation of the year of Jubilee. Go! his face and see a savior there jubilee jubilee jesus is the jubilee that's forgiven slave set free jesus is our Look into your judge's face. You're, you are sunk. You are guilty. And you look up, and he's your savior. Yeah. Jesus says, I've been given the authority to judge, but I, don't, I didn't judge the world. I came to save the world. Yeah. That's not good news. That's great news. Yeah. On your, right or wrong, he's on your side. Even if you're wrong, especially when you're wrong, he's on your side. That's what that cross means. He's going to take that. Take the place that we, ah, oh. yeah, that's good news, son. I have no idea what I'm going to play. I got a list here. I'll figure something out. I'll hear this place. <laughs> Nazarene had come to live the life of every man And he felt the fascination of the stars And as he wandered through this weary world He wondered and he wept For there were so few who'd listened to his call 
He came, he saw, he surrendered all so that we might be born again. And the fact of his humanity was there for all to see, for he was unlike any other man, and yet so much like me. The Nazarene could hunger, and the Nazarene could cry, and he could laugh with all the fullness of his heart. And those who hardly knew him, and those who knew him well, could feel the contradiction from the start. He came, he saw, he surrendered all, so that we might be born again. And the fact of his humanity was there for all to see, for he was unlike any other man, and yet so much like me. On this their final night, they bicker and they fight. Still they are slaves to men, and not, not yet slaves to Christ. He would give up on words, too tired to speak. So he took up the towel and washed their filthy feet. The arguments just fade away, and there is nothing more they can say the wordless lesson that will set them free tell me how much more a servant could he be he took a loaf of bread he broke it and he said take this my body and remember me he took the final cup, and as he raised it up, this covenant is new, my blood poured out for you. The arguments just fade away, and there is nothing more that they can say. The wordless lesson that will set them free, tell me how much more a servant could he be? He is the slave who always serves himself and makes of himself the final meal. Lived out in flesh so we could see. Tell me, how much more a servant could he be? He is the wine and bread, too much to comprehend. He leads us from his knees serves us as a friend in time they'd finally hear the message made so clear who is the greatest one it is God's servant son the arguments just fade away and there is nothing more that we can say the wordless lesson that can set us free Tell me, how much more a servant could he be? How much more a servant? How much more a servant? How much more a servant could he be?
Christ revealed himself to me, enslaved my soul to set me free, and I was bound to him at Calvary, and I found a better freedom. That soul who suffered in the dark has purchased and unchained my heart. A shining slavery did it part. I found a better freedom. A better freedom can't be found by those unwilling to be bound. And a better freedom is not known by those whose hearts will not be owned. And those who follow find a better freedom. never can be truly free until we're bound to this community. The incarnation lets us see a path to better freedom. A slave to sin my life before was bolted like a prison door. But in slavery to the risen Lord I found better freedom a better freedom can't be found by those unwilling to be bound and a better freedom is not known by those whose hearts will not be owned and those who follow find a better freedom Come with me and find a better freedom. Follow him and find a better freedom. It's not the offertory yet. I usually play this for an offertory. So when the offertory comes, remember this song. <laughs> taking the tax and pressing the people to pay but hearing the call he responded in faith and followed the light and the way and leaving the people so puzzled he found the greed in his heart was no longer around and it's hard to imagine the freedom we find from the things that we leave behind Every heart needs to be set free From possessions that hold it so tight Cause freedom's not found in the things that we own It's the power to do what is right In Jesus our only possession Then giving becomes our delight and we can't imagine the freedom we find from the things that we leave behind. And we show a love for the
the world and our lives by worshiping goods we possess. But Jesus said, lay all your treasures aside and love God above all the rest. So when we say no to the things of the world, we open our hearts to the love of the Lord. And it's hard to imagine the freedom we find from the things that we leave behind. Oh, and it's hard to imagine the freedom we find from the things that we leave behind. This song, song takes some explaining. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'm trying not to talk between every song. Uh, I went and heard some another uh, songwriter, and he talked like 15 minutes between every song. It's like telling, explaining the joke away before you tell it. And I, I did that for years and years, and so I'm trying not to do that. So you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> but I have to explain this one. There's a story behind this one. Uh, I live in Franklin, Tennessee, just out of, I actually now live in Fernvale, Tennessee, which is a little, a little valley west of Franklin. And uh, my, wife, my wife is a flower farmer. Uh, she retired from nursing and uh, partnered with another uh, lady who already had an established business. And I would say I'm a flower farmer, but I'm a flower farm hand. <laughs> That's what I do. And uh, our little community in, in Franklin years ago, um, we realized that Sunday, uh, the, the, the church hour on Sunday was the most segregated hour of the week. And that had, somebody had to do something about that. Um, so uh, we, we formed a group called the Empty Hands Fellowship. And it was mostly pastors, but then there were some people, uh, some other people in there. I was one of the only non-pastors in the group with a couple, couple more. And we got together and we, what do we do? And they, they would swap pulpits and that worked. And we would swap choirs. You know, the uh, First Missionary Baptist, one of the oldest black churches, would send their choir over to First Baptist. And we'd do stuff like that, which, if you're interested, is a really cool thing to do. It's, and it's, e it's super easy. So uh, we did stuff like that. But it really wasn't making a, much of a difference. So I had the bright idea. I held up my little hand in one of the meetings. I said, why don't we try to go visit each other's churches? So uh, I started going to First Missionary Baptist. Denny Denson was the pastor. Denny had been a Black Panther in Chicago in the 60s, and he was still kind of scary. He could be really scary when he wanted to. Uh, he has since gone home to be with the Lord. My favorite Denny Denson story, he, he had pan pancreatic cancer, and I'm visiting him in, in the hospital, and he looks horrible. I'm he's f feeling horrible, and I'm holding his hand. I go, Denny brother, you know, I would, I would do anything. I would, I would take this from you if I could. And then he looked at me. He said, you couldn't handle this. <laughs> <laughs> that was Denny Denson. Not a soft, fuzzy place, you know, in his whole, uh, atti his whole attitude. But anyway, so I, so I visited the church. We had been meeting there anyway, so I knew where everything was. And uh, it's uh, Sunday morning, and the church is packed. Not a very big church, probably seats 150 people. Um, it's the oldest, if not the oldest, one of the oldest churches in Franks. It was built by slaves after the Civil War. Um, and so anyway, so I, I go in there, and uh, this little, little lady walks up to me, and she said, very innocently, she said, why are you here? <laughs> she wasn't being mean. And I just said, well, I'm Denny's friend. Well, okay, that's good enough for you, you know. Here's a seat over here. She was really glad I was there. So... Um, the service starts, and I, the only empty seat was in the back, and so I sat there next to this very, very big uh, woman, just tall and big in every way. She's big. Uh, I, I came to, to find out that she was the wife of one of our Empty Hands pastors. Bob Smith is one of the pastors. It was his wife, Dinah. Bob and Dinah had raised 75 foster children, black and white. Bob said... When I, come, when I came home from work, I never knew if there was going to be another person at the table. <laughs> and if you ask Dinah, she was, she's this amazing woman. She's, she's since gone home to be with the Lord. But uh, 
you know, you would ask her, why did you, how did you do this? Why did you do this? And she said, well, if I don't love him, who else is going to? That was her kind of philosophy. And so she was this sort of gravitational force of, uh, of, of, of love. I don't know. I've, I've never known anybody like her. Anyway, Dinah Smith. So anyway, uh, I sit next to Dinah. I don't know who it is, but I sit next to Dinah. So the church service starts, and Denny's preaching, and um, she reaches over and grabs my hand, <laughs> which completely freaked me out, right? <laughs> and then I think, well, this is what black people do in their churches. They hold hands. So I look around. Nobody else is holding hands. <laughs> And every now and then, didn't he make a point? She'd give it a little squeeze. Like, <laughs> are you getting this? You know? So uh, I came to find out that I, I was being adopted by this woman. She, I, I was 76. She adopted me and op opened the door of her life to me. And I can tell you, change, knowing this woman changed my life. She's just so, so much salt and light in one person. And, and so much, you just wondered if Jesus did that kind of thing. Sit down to a total stranger, grab their hand, give a little squeeze. So uh, anyway, this is a song uh, about that moment. I hope I haven't given it all away. She was haloed round in kindness. I was nervous and alone. A stranger come into her world, the church that was her home. She'd been taught to love the stranger as only the suffering can. That Sunday morning set me free when Dinah held my hand. The service was about to start. It was my destiny. The only place beside her, it was waiting there for me. Without a word, she reached across and gently took my hand. And the path I've traveled ever since that morning it began. She reached across 300 years of suffering and pain. She reached across the great divide of the color of our skins. When she reached across that empty pew, I finally understood that all the hate that meant to harm, the Lord would use for good. That she was strong and she was kind, but gentle when she spoke her mind. Jesus is on the main line and you can tell him what you want by the force of her own gravity her outrageous generosity that morning I began to see that she'd adopted me she reached across 300 years of suffering and pain she reached across the great divide of the color of our skins when she reached across that empty pew I finally understood that all the hate that meant to harm, the Lord would use for good. Now life is made of moments we don't hardly understand. Sometimes the meaning isn't clear, like there's no specific plan. But each moment has been set in place before the world began. Like the time that Sunday morning when Dinah held my hand. Like the time that Sunday morning when Dinah held my hand. Okay, Snowflake, buck up there, little soldier. Stop crying. Ugh. I think one of them won't make me cry. Kiss 
to show them that's not what a kiss is for. Only a friend can betray a friend. A stranger has nothing to gain. And only a friend comes close enough to ever cause so much pain. And why did there have to be a thorny crown pressed upon his head? It should have been a royal one made of jewels and gold instead. It had to be a crown of thorns because in this life that we live, for all who would seek to love, a thorn is all the world has to give. And why did there have to be a heavy cross he was made to bear? And why did they nail his feet and hands? His love would have held him there. It was a cross for on a cross a thief was supposed to pay. Jesus had come into the world to steal every heart away. Yes, Jesus had come into the world to steal every heart away. Made it through that one. How about that? <laughs> uh, in the in the recording studio, sometimes if if you're into it, you you know you start crying, and uh, the the our engineer will say, you know, it takes a big man to cry, but it takes a bigger man to laugh at that man. So they, <laughs> you're in there, you know, singing your heart out and crying and stop, stop, let me let me get a breath, and they're and they're making fun of you. So. Welcome to my world. <laughs> uh. Now at last the time had come. This moment had been waiting. With her alabaster jar, the woman came to give. It was all she had to give. Pouring out the sweet perfume down across his forehead. But some of them began to fume what this ways was for. It should be spent upon the poor. Let her be. It's beautiful to me And you will have the poor And they'll be with you always But can't you see You'll not always have me And the fragrance of her gift Will always be remembered She has done all she could do Pouring perfume on my body She has prepared me for the tomb Though she never knew This was what she came to do Let her be It's beautiful to me And you will have the poor And they'll be with you always But can't you see You'll not always have me 
and the fragrance of her gift will always be remembered. What she has done will never fade from the memory of the gospel. When it is preached around the world, it will be spoken of in memory of her love. In an upstairs room, a parable is just about to come alive. And while they bicker about who's best, with a painful glance, he'll silently rise. Their savior servant must show them how, by the will of the water and the tenderness of the town and the call is to community the impoverished power that sets the soul free in humility to take the vow that day after day we must take up the basin and the towel Reject the worldly lie that says that life lies always up ahead. Let power go before control becomes a crust around your soul. Escape the hunger to possess and soul diminishing success. This world is full of narrow lives I pray by grace your smile survives for I would wander weary miles would welcome ridicule my child to simply see the sunrise of your smile to see the light behind your eyes the happy 
thought that makes you fly. Yes, I would wander weary miles if I could see the sunrise of your smile. Now close your eyes so you can see your own unfinished memories. Now open them, for time is brief, and you'll be blessed beyond belief. Now glance above you at the sky. There's beauty there to blind the eye. I ask all this and wait a while to see the dawning of your smile. For I would wander weary miles, would welcome ridicule, my child, to simply see the sunrise of your smile. To see the light behind your eyes, the happy thought that makes you Yes, I would wander weary miles. I would wander weary miles. I would wander weary miles if I could see the sunrise of your smile. This song is in F sharp, and I'm so proud of that. All black notes. It sort of sounds like. I know. But don't think about that song as I play this. Understood and undefined, a stranger to myself. Incarnate contradiction, I am poverty and wealth. I can believe and disbelieve, I can bless and I can damn. I'm dying in the darkness of not knowing who I am. Then shining like the morning star, a light begins to cease. In a, a light begins to speak. In a voice that's vastly strong, it's still so infinitely weak. It's roaring like a lion, and it whispers like a lamb. It's thundering that who you are is wrapped in who I am. Possess the kingdom, you're the sorrowful, the meek, the gentle, starving ones who are the strongest when you're weak. You're always making peace each time you suffer for what's right. You freely offer mercy from a heart I filled with light. kingdom, you're the sorrowful, the meek, the gentle starving ones who are the strongest when you're weak. You're always making peace each time you 
you suffer for what's right, you freely offer mercy from a heart I filled with light. The ending of the world, I can't remember the words. The seasoning of the world, the, the flavor, here it is. The flavor of the world comes through the seasoning of your life. Remember when the darkness looms, you were meant to be the light. The light that's always hidden, some will see it from afar. This is who you are. I couldn't remember the words I didn't introduce it. Usually when I introduce it, I get it back in my head. So mm. uh, this one I want to teach you. And I think, well, let me do, yeah, let me do a couple more. Um, uh, a friend of mine wrote this song, uh, Brian Moss. The king of all kings was wounded and beaten and hung on a hill. The truth, the truth, truth of the world, the sacrifice made has, has, oh man, what's wrong with this? The truth of the world, the sacrifice made has risen, was given. The power to save. This will be your part. Help me. Only his wounds can heal the broken. Only his wounds can save us from sin. And only his wounds give faith to the faithless. Only his wounds can restore us again. Told the judgment upon us is soon to unfold, but still there is hope. The way has been made. Listen, before us is Jesus with power to save. Only his wounds, only his wounds can heal, can heal the broken, only his wounds can save can save us from sin and only his wounds give faith give faith to the faithless only his wounds can restore one more time only his wounds can heal the broken only his wounds can save us from sin and only his wounds give faith to Okay, that was not cool. <laughs> no, no, I haven't, I haven't forgot. We're, I want to end by 8.30, right? I'm good. I'm good. This is not my first rodeo. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad I didn't say something in the mic that I shouldn't have Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
After this song, we're going to take the offering. <laughs> I saw the holy city descending from the sky, so brilliant with the light of God, the city is his bride. There is no temple in this town, no sun, no moon, no lamp, for God's own glory is its light, illuminated by the Lamb. And God himself will wipe the tears from every weeping eye. No death, no pain, no mourning cry, and every tear may dry. And now our God will dwell with them, the new Jerusalem. And, and he himself with them, the new Jerusalem. And so let all of those who thirst come now and drink for free. And to the ones who overcome, come now and you will see. Behold, the old has passed away, now everything is new. The Alpha and Omega's words are trustworthy and so true. And God himself will wipe the tears from every weeping eye. No death, no pain, no mourning cry, and every tear. Michael, I just wanted to make sure you got paid, brother. <laughs> and seriously, Phil Keggy, Phil Keggy forgot when he was here. So, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, come on forward. We'll make this quick. Um, so thanks for coming to worship with us tonight. How wonderful this has been. Um, so as we take an offering, I want to let you know our concerts are free so that everybody can come worship. We don't want the price or a cost to be a, a, a deterrent. Um, we do free concerts so everybody can come worship. And so as you consider giving, please consider that. And also, this coming Saturday, we have a very special event here called Overcoming Addiction. We're going to have Daryl Strawberry speak. We're going to have a handful of workshops from representatives from uh, America's Keswick and uh, from Honey Lake Clinic, uh, an addiction clinic. So um, also, we're not going to take an offering that night. Um, and so anything you give tonight will help towards that as well, Try and encourage Anybody you know that has an issue with addiction or in their family, please invite them, encourage them to come, and also take our brochures. If you don't have those, give them out to others so they can know what's coming up here, including that conference and other conferences, the speakers, the concerts, the weekly Bible studies, vacation Bible school, and all those things. So that said, let me pray. Lord, thanks for blessing us tonight with this concert with Michael Card, helping us to know you better, Lord, as he taught us from your word this morning more about Jesus.
Father, and then he's leading us to your throne tonight through worship. Thank you, Lord. We just love how much you've gifted him, and especially his heart, Lord, for helping others to know you through your son, Jesus Christ, and through your word. So now we give this offering up, Lord, that you may be honored through the ministry here, that we'd be good stewards of it. Through Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. This morning after church, I told, I told Caroline, I go, man, you, you've got great chops. She goes, I've never heard it called that. <laughs> you got great chops. Okay, a couple more songs, I'll leave you alone. Uh, let's see. Yeah. A sign shall be given. A virgin will conceive. 
human baby bearing undiminished deity. The glory of the nations, a light for all to see, and hope for all who will embrace his warm reality. This is your part. Ready? to help me sing this it's too high for me okay <laughs> but I can't play it in any other key so and I, I, I do so hope that this song is true I believe it is I hope it is I trust it is Spirit and who 
share incarnation with him who belong to eternity stranded in time and weary of struggling with sin forget not the hope that's before you and never stop counting the cost remember the hopelessness when you we're lost. Come on, sing together. Because there is a joy in the journey. There's a life we can love on the way. And there is a wonder and wildness to life. And freedom for those who obey. Okay, one more song and I'll leave you alone. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, I apologize for the mistakes. I'll do better next time, I promise. Amen. But that little church that I, I started writing songs in, Thelma Baker was the chief deaconess in our church, and Thelma loved me more when I wrote a bad song or when I messed up. So... Are you going to love me that way? I love you more than <laughs> you know, that's how we have to do this, y'all. You, you love someone more because they need more love when you mess up, right? That's how it works. Okay, and I think you guys get that. So uh, let, me, let me play this song, uh, but thanks for coming. And so I'll play this song as a benediction, and then I'll pronounce a benediction. And then, can I do that? Yes. Okay, you, you're not going to come up and scare me or anything? Okay. <laughs> And then you can consider yourself benedicted. Okay. <laughs> Get not the sufferings of Jesus and bear the disgrace that he bore, confessing his name, for Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Ready, Grace? 
Now go in the grace of the one who loves you so much, he would rather die than live without you. Go and be his people and forgive each other and love each other well. Go. Thank you all so much for coming out. What an amazing night of worship. We hope we'll see you again soon. Got a couple more concerts coming up. Um, Paul Balash will be here uh, with his band on next Sunday night. That's going to be quite an event, so uh, we hope to see you back soon. Have a great night. Drive safe. God bless. <laughs>